Welcome to our new 900 square foot studio in Chicago. Today I'm gonna to talk about how we're gonna turn this place into the most eclectic YouTube studio possible. Check it out. No hands. For years I've been a part of Creative Club Chicago in this industrial building, initially on the third floor and now the fifth. We've built community, our own businesses, and a place where dreams actually materialize. Since moving into our newest 1800 square foot studio in 2021, we've been slowly furnishing each corner with intentionality. Now, if you've been around for the past two years, you've obviously seen me utilize the space visually and functionally for all the films I make. Similarly, this has been the case for a couple other people in the studio that are near and dear to my heart, also pursuing a career in content influencing. I don't think that phrase has been invented yet. Dibs on the trademark. And while we love this space for everything that it is, we still share it with half a dozen other people. Given that reality, it can get cluttered, busy, loud, and generally unpredictable. So, Stephen Jean and I made a pact. Lo and behold, minutes after we made that pact, we went online and found a studio that fit the description. <laughs> the past month and a half has been spent painting the floors, taking stupid photos together, scouring Facebook Marketplace, thrifting, and dreaming. We've officially started turning this place into what will inevitably be one of the coolest evolutions of our careers. The goal of the new studio is to reduce any and all friction of making videos alone or together. We want it to be a creative playground with enough nuance and variability that every corner is a vignette inspiring us to always make something new for YouTube. And arguably the most valuable thing is just one floor above the existing creative club. I sat here with a beautifully painted wall, plants, furniture, and then 180 degrees from here on the other wall with another beautifully painted wall, probably, with this globe too, I think. This entire wall with a collage of our art and other people's art that we really love. And then an entire set here with furniture, chairs, maybe some walls, make it like a whole room to do rally caps again, because it's coming back. This massive eight foot butcher block table where we can put friction arms on the side and do top down shots of things that we want to display. And there'll be a bunch of props and storage, fun things to play with that we put on top here. It's gonna be sick. Jury's still out on what we're gonna put on this wall, but above it is this 25 foot cavern that's very echoey, obviously. But we want to put a 12 by 12 scrim fabric up here, blast constant lights through the top. So we get diffused skylight look on the bottom. Aperture if you're watching. Please hit me up in DMs. <laughs> a corner for shoes, coat, and other. And finally, a cozy little corner with whiteboards so that we can sit down and imagine all of our plans of production and creative ideas. Which lends itself to me sharing that all of our commercial work is going to be brought in-house, the three of us, Gene, Steven, and I, and we're working on making that an entire new entity and brand that will probably be announced soon, so keep a lookout. Gene made a whole video on the story of how we got here and our careers and our history in this building, and Steven made a whole video dedicated to what's next with Rally Cap. So if you wanna watch those, they're linked down in the description. I hope you're excited about all this, because. I am. See you soon. Bye. There's tape there holding my head above. Okay, bye.